What's up, everybody? Welcome. Sith Council, man. And it's um, it's Wednesday, and this is spoiler heavy and or episodes one through three. Now, I've seen four that we were, uh, Steph saw four of them, but we're not going to spoil the fourth one. Don't worry. One through three. We will be spoiling those at great length. To talk about this show. Uh, we do have Mikey Christmas with us. We do have Steph Sabra with us. And we're going to be doing a, a full-on discussion. We'll talk about some of the other things. That that Rogue Squadron movie was pretty much shot out of the water. We'll talk about that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see if we can get to it. But uh, there's, there's other things on... I was looking through Star Wars Newsnet that we'll talk about. If we get to it, we have a full-on discussion about this thing. But I also wanted to thank you guys before we got started today. If, you, if you're brand new to the channel, by the way, and you haven't already done this, do me a favor and, and subscribe to nothing. Because I can't even get the freaking graphic up there. But um, there it is. Subscribe. Help us out. Thank you so much. Trying to get to 70000 by the end of the year, if we can do it. Apple Podcasts, Spotify. I want to thank, I've, uh, I'll be giving a big shout out to this guy, for, at least for today and tomorrow, Fernando, who's a friend of the show and a fan of the show, and he hooked my family up with passes to Disneyland yesterday, and I, I can't thank him enough. We had a great time, and it was this, uh, it was this passion that he had for just getting us in. He's a sweetheart of a guy, so I thank him very much. I'd also like to thank Gentle Giant, which you'll see in a moment. It's a lot of cool stuff, man. They sent us a lot of cool stuff. And speaking of sending us cool stuff, you guys, we put up on an Amazon list, and there's hardly anything left on the list, but people are still asking, how do we, uh, how, how do we help? You look at the list, the, the, the I cards right there, the description's in there, but the idea was September 1st that so we were just going to get a couple things for the studio to help out the studio and build it out, make it look a little better than it was. And I said, we'll put some stuff on there. If anybody wants to help out, they can. And thinking people would get us a thing here and there. And within days, I mean, Kalinowski came in today. He said, is that all the stuff that came in? I was like, yeah. And he said, holy shit. And we still have boxes everywhere, and we're trying to put things together. And So thank you guys so much. If you contributed, if you didn't contribute, a, a like, a comment, anything helps. But uh, for those people who put in um, their hard-earned cash, to send us stuff we thank you so much all right let's get to it it's sith council let's do the show i can feel your anger it gives you focus makes you stronger what's up everybody welcome back sith council garth sabra is here hello happy time jones is here happy time jones i love that you like that one right so, there's a little space behind my head i think someone else should go f- i think someone else should go there i know, I know what should go there i'm trying to fix there you go a little, are you a little blurry i feel like you're a little blurry is he no he looks good no it's fine it's good camera so, does like you i hate to say it but the camera does like you mike kellen me yeah oh um, there he is. Look at that shot. How great is that shot? That's Mike? a great shot. Think? Look at that. Look at yeah. I came in today. And I thought, what's yeah. what, you starting your OnlyFans account over here with all this <laughs> stuff going on here? Angles. Yeah, angles. It's great. So it's look. We're excited about. It. We, we we actually shot an episode of Big Thing that Steph's going to be on, and we were saying before like all the cool stuff. I mean, look at look that yeah. Bruce Lee head in the back now, that there. Storm the, Shadow's awesome. The storm Shadow's awesome. Yeah, Gentle awesome. Giants yeah. that stuff. We got something for Katie. You got some. I just told they sent an extra one of those uh, Kane and Jarrus ones that's, for this that's, 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 that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then look at Mike up top there. Come on now. By the by the Blu rays. So that cowbell? Well cowbell. So someone in the comment section said that we need that the studio looked great, but we but it wasn't complete because it needs more cowbell. <laughs> and I said, I will put that on the Amazon list. Someone and should I, buy it. Within fifteen minutes someone someone bought it and sent it. It was amazing. Um, anyway, so we got Pennywise up there, we got Logan. Logan I, the Logan and the Storm Shadow are my two favorites. Yeah, that's great. They're really, really good. Nothing against Darth Vader and the rest of the crew on the Sith Council, but no. Um, all right, let's talk about Andor, guys. Let's we, talk. we got to talk oh, about this show. Geez. This show is absolutely incredible. And so my opinion on the show is this. Mandalorian is still my favorite because it has more episodes to show. One, two seasons so far. Just a, it, was, it has a lot of Easter egg stuff, and it's got a lot of... Um, lore and and things that i think help that relate to the overall franchise and i I love it there's to me no argument that andor is the best written star wars television show if not star wars new era lucasfilm disney partnership thus far steph how do you feel about that statement Uh, yeah i agree i think it's like a detailed and focused rollout of what could possibly be uh an incredible series like a masterful series on what it's trying to accomplish now i'm gonna go two ways here on what my how how i feel mike 
this seems to me, yeah, on everything that we've talked about of what you wanted from Star Wars, yeah, this seems to be the show, and it's it's more mature, yeah, it is it is better written, it has Look thus far no no pew no, no don't go don't go no there lightsabers. Yet. Let me say that. Not a single lightsaber, not a single Sith, not a single Jedi, not a single may the force be with you. And do you love this show? Hold on. Okay. Uh No, 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 no. I, my idea of what the show was as of what the first three episodes is, is completely different now. I was expecting we were in the rebellion. He's a spy. Right. And we haven't gotten there yet. And it's not even that. So my expectations after the, after first two episodes last night, I was just like, everyone is hyping this. I, I got to be along for the ride, but these first two, ooh, this is not for, this is going, we got to get bored. something. We need something. You need, you need pew pew. No. You need I just, ping, you I need just need boom, like, boom. then I was like, wait a minute. They did three at once. Yeah. I knew exactly what they, they knew. They could, if they dropped one, they would have been eviscerated. If they would have just dropped one episode, they would have been eviscerated. Um, someone, in one of the reviews said, Tony Gilroy doesn't know how to write for television. And I agree. This show is. It's feel, a movie. You think those three episodes feel like a, a movie? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people it, it, say that. And, and again, that's not his fault. Their streaming is what it is, and it's the world we're living in now, where they're telling a twelve-hour movie. And I know we debate this back and forth. She-Hulk, episodic television. Yes. But this is like, okay. But that said, it's gorgeous. It is Music's the so most beautiful. Like, the, I love the volume, and I love what it does, but you just tell they're, like, in England. Night and day. It's unreal how yeah. good the show looks. Right. And the fact that there was not a lightsaber, not a may the force be, you know, when the woman's sending him off and this and that, the old lady, may the force be with you. None of that. And I loved it. Yeah. So I, I'm so torn. See, I'm not torn at all because I think. No, I love it. This is, this is a show. What I thought that this show did so well yeah. within the first Half an hour through, I, I can understand where people would say, not you're not the only person that has said that the first three episodes feels like a long movie. And I think that's intended, though, even though it's broken up. Yeah. That's why they're doing these three episode arcs. Are we going to get three every week? That's what it's. No, 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 no. Okay. So that, three episode arcs, meaning like if you notice, I see like what this, you're saying. this particular episode really had to do with Andor going in, he kills those dudes, which look very Blade Runner esque, which I love. So the that got me. That's exactly I was like, oh, what I said when it opened. It felt very Blade Runner esque. But then. Going, I, and I agree with this, and I but I like this. I was like, well, where is he as far as when they open up? I'm like, is he is he already uh, in the rebellion? Right, is he, but is he, is he a spy or what is he? And then when he gets himself into that shit, yeah. that stuff. Sorry, when he gets himself into that stuff, I'm going. Oh wait, he's just kind of on the run right now. This is how he gets recruited, and I'm like, I'm all I'm here See, for that. I wasn't sure, like, because he's. Looking for stuff, and he's looking for people, which is how we meet him yeah. in Rogue One. So my brain is like, oh, he's he's doing what he does. Right. And in Rogue One, they say he's been doing this since he was six. So that's a little... They're taking some liberties now because he wasn't in the Rebellion since he was six. But he's been he's, doing he's been, this. He's been, he said he's been on in the fight since he right, was six. Right, but... He's not fighting anything. It seems like he's just surviving, like right. he's stealing stuff off of. Well, we still don't know ships. because that, right, we well, don't know. But that's we a great know. conversation, though, to have. And and you might not be wrong because here's the question that I did have, and I did my my watch longs to it. This is what I could see Tony Gilroy saying. Oh, so Tony, in that book that we have, it says that that his parents were separatists. Tony throws the book behind his back. Exactly. And says, no, that that doesn't. No, that doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Though. Which is possible yeah. because they didn't look like separatists. They looked like they were just kind of people on this yeah. planet that were trying to survive. Very right. similar, like you know, the Native Americans, and and yeah. so so that's what it seemed like. But we don't know how they got there. Sure. We don't know if his parents were separatists. We don't know if we don't know if maybe his particular um, uh, tribe was formed with the separatists, and that's why right. they're fighting against. That was that was the republic that they were fighting against. Yeah. And we only know that because of the symbol. Yeah, because of what, and what they see. And well, the they, ship. Yeah, right, right. So, And they were all kids, though. Uh, my yeah. interpretation was that their parents were separatists, all of their kids, and they had died. Yeah. And they're now, like, on this, um, like, uh, what's the movie where kids have to Lord rule? Lord of the Flies? Yeah, oh, like yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what it felt like. And, yeah. And, but again, I would like that if that's. If I mean, that not even not it. even a stormtrooper. Yeah, and didn't miss it at all. I know a lot of people are saying this doesn't feel like Star Wars, but it does. Yeah, and I think that's why it does. Um, but I'll say this because I don't want you to think I don't like it. Like infinitely better than Boba and Obi Wan with only three episodes. Right. 
Mando is still up there. For it's me. just smart television. Yeah, so it's far. just it's smart so television. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to hear people talk about it. it's gritty or dark. Those are just kind of catch words that we can use because it, it, it it's the nuance isn't there but it does like Blade Runner yeah, it's got Blade that. Runner-esque but it's not but it's not too lost in science fiction no. that it doesn't become Star Wars anymore it's no. like it's, so that's when it opened up I was like okay that works great and then I love the idea because it, it did fool me as well I'm like oh I felt the same way you did Mike I said okay this is him on one of his missions like right. we saw but then when it's like no 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 He's just scrapping and trying to survive and doing his thing right now he's not involved in anything he's got no purpose and he's lost Yeah I'm like that I think already, like, and I love Rogue One. We've all talked about it. Rogue yeah. One to me is my favorite Star Wars movie of the Lucasfilm era, of the, the Disney Lucasfilm era. Easily. This, to me, and I, I always thought, like, I, I love Diego Luna. Andor is a developed character in Rogue One, but he's not, like, overly developed. He's, he's developed. Yeah. He's way more developed in this show in three episodes already like that to where I, I, I know more about him. I care more about him than I did. And it's also from brilliant performances by a lot of different people, but Diego Luna, obviously in particular so yeah he's unbelievable the cast in general brings a levity to that to the screen that's incredible and then like finally i can't not talk about this yes. the dialogue was yep. so good it's like exactly what i've been waiting for i'm like actual real conversations about how genocidal fascism can take over how the people are the ones who suffer and how that actually an uprise can occur and that's also what drives me nuts for people going oh why does it get so political that they're doing that now I George Lucas based this off of Hitler and fascism and all that stuff that that happened and, and not just Hitler though by the way it was it was every regime it was a lot of different regimes in, in general so it's like it's it's a statement on how in how this can happen anywhere mm -hmm. yeah. anywhere in, in in human uh culture in general so that that's why I thought it was more relevant yeah uh to on the Diego Luga point Diego, Diego Luna point I was not a fan of his in Rogue One it seemed kind of, uh, I, I don't know if he was strong enough or whatnot. So going into this, I, I was not, uh, like, I was like, I don't really care for the character of him. I'm more for the world. But over the three episodes, after that third episode, I was like, he won me over. Right. He won me over. Because they, so they 100%. He's kind of a, a, he, a dick he's a in scoundrel. Rogue One. He's a scoundrel kind of, too, in, in, a, in, a, in a certain, but he's stealing but, stuff. But he's trying to make three, deals. In these three, him as an actor won yes, me over. Yes, absolutely. Oh, well, so. I always liked I always did like Diego Luna, but but I, not outside me, of Star Wars. I'm saying with him in the yes, role. Yes, in the role. To me, he, Cassian won me over. But yes, Skellen Skarsgård, by the way. Woo. Now, he in general is a phenomenal actor, and he's always great. Yeah, Goodwill Hunting, whatever yeah. the Marvel movies, whatever. This character is awesome yeah yeah and i don't want to spoil i know four. it's I episode four, four. four like well i haven't seen it i'm, I'm not gonna spoil for me like you, oh, we we're gonna spoil top gun spoiled for me anything on this show Jeez. i all i'm gonna say is though that like i remember finishing it and being episode three and being like i really hope four keeps it going and it does that and more and with the characters where you're like damn yeah. and there's but stuff like scars guard he is so good so good and him and diego together it's just unbelievable because they dropped that scene of them in like that boulder area where they all where all the action ensued yeah. Yeah. on disney plus on before Disney Plus Day, and it was I was like, "Damn, okay, we're in for a treat." But then there's so much more. Past they dropped that. the scene with all the things yeah. falling before. without the episode. Yeah, see, why I, would they I, do that? I, see, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch great. any of that stuff. Oh, that was dangerous. Yeah. All of that stuff was great, and the way that he ultimately is, it looks like he's becoming the guy who who is recruiting him right. into the rebellion, right? And you look at that in that scene, and that's when, when Steph goes back and says how great the dialogue is. The dialogue in that scene, and this is what I will say. For people who are saying that the episodes are too short, episodes one and two, and well, th the first three are short, right? I don't disagree with you, and I think it goes back to Mike's part, my, Mike's point before that it, it that it kind of that essentially it's an hour and a half movie. It is, whatever. yeah. However, in those thirty-minute episodes or thirty-two-minute episodes, the difference between a thirty-two or thirty-five-minute episode of Andor that I've seen so far, yeah. and Boba Fett or Kenobi. What they're able to cram in in 35 minutes and how much detail and dialogue and backstory, they don't throw it away on mindless action. I'd rather have a story that combines so much detail into character and backstory and emotion than some BS fight or, or blaster match just because we have to appease the action eye. Perfect yeah. example. 
every single character we've met so far in Andor, from the bad guys to the good guys, memorable. We know every we we know them. We're the best yeah. with them, like the Vesper gang, Vesper gang, and we didn't even know how two of the four members right. were. Right, but it was a cool shiny thing. They were a throwaway. This is like. I like care about I love and I, I couldn't figure of where I knew this guy. He's not the police general. That's that causes it. It's his like blusterous guy. That guy's awesome. You know where he's from? Where? Wizard of Oz. The Batman. He's like you telling me he's involved in this. He's oh. the he's the uh, the the the. That's the second in charge. The second the lieutenant the he's, police lieutenant is, in the Batman. Okay, so because like his voice. You're talking about the guy that, that who's like he's the big he guy's like who, who basically tells him good job sir. Yeah, that guy that guy's. So, so good, awesome. and I yeah. love the way that they use a lot of the whether it's the Scottish accent, whatever it is, because that's what happened in the original Star Wars. Hold on, I mean, yeah, you hit the point right there. I wanted to say, yeah, everyone in this, you, it, it filmed in London, right? It had to have been because everyone is some Scotland. kind of English accent. And I love and it. It, European, European, so. European, because that was my problem with the with the new sequel. Like all the Imperial officers, they're like American guys. Like, sir, they're coming up on. It's like, yeah. and it just it doesn't hit. The as bad much. guy's got to have that regalness about him. It just. It's a Star Wars thing that you can't explain. It just elevates the material. It, yeah. it, it just does. does. And I say that as a dumb American. Yeah. No, you know? every character is, that is like the point of the show yeah. that I loved is like every character mattered yep. and was yeah. unique. And in terms of the, like the glorified security officers, yeah. I love that arc because it's not just so simple that it's just stormtroopers. No. Like these are like corporations are paying yeah. for these security guards who like are overly important to themselves. Yes. And just tailored his outfit. Yeah, like so like they didn't do the work to become anything important no. and they think they're important. And you know what I loved about that also though is that because you get mustache Magoo, the guy with the, yeah. the, the, the white the, the white mustache, right? He's but right why why <laughs> I got Mike. The big guy, the walrus at the beginning, he's like, I have to go give a speech, and you know what I, I want. I love that. I love do, him. You know, do you know why I love him, though? That one scene, and he's awesome. Because so he's not stupid. No. They could have made that exactly character a moron. Yeah. Mustache and, Magoo. Yeah, but they could have made him a moron, and, and, most, and most of the shows that they've been making. <laughs> He yeah. would have been a moron going, no, no, blah, 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 and saying nonsense instead of, no. What happened was these idiots yeah. pissed off somebody they shouldn't have pissed off, yeah. and they killed them. Stay out of it. Leave it alone. Yeah. Leave it alone. And then, you know, Dollar Store Sam Whitworth says, no, 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 <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna invest it, by the way. And I say that I say that as far as his look. Yeah. His actual performance was great. Yeah, the bad guy is great. Uh, and, he's and, getting and forced learn. choked by Vader by episode 12. I, he might. Watch. He might because he won't stop. He'll and go up the ranks. Yeah. And then he's going to be he, forced he, choked by Vader. Maybe. Maybe so. But anyway, and uh, he is... Yeah. He's really good. He's great. And as nope. I, 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 I took the joke just to... to no, no, no. But like, no yeah. He's good. But the other one that we have to talk about... I know who you're going to say. I I'm going to talk about Adria Arjona. Arjona. Vix. Oh. So, so I loved her. She was, she was to, me, oh, to me, even though Matt Smith and, uh, and Jared Leto are goofing around having fun in Morbius since a bad movie. I didn't see it. She is the best part of that She's movie. Morbius? She is. She's the love interest. Oh. But that movie's horrendous. Yeah. It's a bad movie. She stands out. And the second she and, and I remember seeing and not be, and she's a very attractive woman, but yeah. like but she's just she's a very good actress. Yeah. And I remember saying, that movie's not good, but she's good. Yeah. yeah. She's real good. And then they uh, announced her in this sh in Andor, and I was like, good. Because she deserves something good and she shines in this I'm show. I'm glad I kind of was outside of the sphere of trying to find out information about the show because watching her like she's new to I, you. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal a line from Alden uh Diaz tweet out today. He's like the era of the space daddy is over. It's the space mommy now. Oh, and I, I like uh, space poppy I he said because everyone's with Diego Luna and, right, right, right. and Pedro Pascal is like no finally he's like space she was mommy. she was phenomenal. But you know what it is also too and it's like for stupid people who say oh they're just they're casting because of this they're casting because of quota they're casting this. Oh, no, they, they, they but they cast here in pure talent also, yeah. right? Because these characters were so fleshed out yeah. and and so, and I think that that's where you're going to see less of that from people though too because I think that the characters, the people are just going to respond to them, right? Yeah. She's so good in this role and they tell you so much about their relationship without saying anything. Without yeah, telling you anything. You know that they had a thing. Yeah. They had a thing, but now he's off. She cares. And how about that rat but, but snitches you also, get stitches. You feel, you feel, <laughs> but, snitches get stitches. But Steph, you got to understand, and I, I'm sure Steph, you've had that guy in your life. I'm sure you have. That 
you know, wants your affection and you kind of, you don't lead him on, but you're, you know, yeah. like, but if, we know friend, that guy. He's not, a, he's not friend zone because he got, he, he's, he's in the dance. Yeah. But it's just, she did the she kiss. Went, she just, went for the little, but, but she's in over his place. A little, the dude had it made. He the had dude, it. He that had it. And insecure. He, yeah. Blew it. Paranoid. Absolutely blew the bag. Well, like, uh, to quote, uh, a good friend, you blew it. You, blew you it. had it and you, you blew, blew it. it. Absolutely blew it. He had it. He had it. She's like, she's coming over to stay over his place and everything. Asking too. for coffee in the everything. morning. And she and he's defending and she's defending him to to yeah. Andor. Yeah. And, but she cares about Andor a lot. Yeah. yeah. And he rats him out like a jealous skunk. What was weird is too. Andor, like, may I use your arm for a sec, Steph? You know, he put his hand there. And I she like how you ask, but do it while you're asking. Well, you know, <laughs> I knew I was going to get the approval. Yeah. Okay. Where she then took his hand off at that one scene where they at the bar together. Yeah, like but she, then he left before he could see that because he was I facing know. paranoid. I know. Like, That's he true. wasn't paying attention. Insecurity is but so we unattractive. we know that person. Yes. We all have oh, seen that. Oh, oh, we know oh, that I'm not, I'm, We know that I'm person. I'm saying it was a great character moment. Because great I'm watching, character. If you watch, I'm watching the uh, the episode. I'm going, no, he cares too. He's not a bad guy. He's he does not the a stupid bad guy. Thing. No. And, and as Steph said, he gets he gets whacked because of it. And those guys don't give a crap that they just a, killed this yeah. dude. And that was a good plot yes. point, though. Like, they ended up using... It wasn't a throwaway character scene. Like, I... Even though it's like, oh God, it's you who did that. It could have been another person too. Like I forget who I was thinking it might have been also, but the fact, oh, the woman who worked at the brothel first, yeah, yeah, she yeah. could have identified him oh, somehow because yeah, yeah. he was asking questions. So there was also that. But then when they shot him, you could really see like, oh my God, these security officers yes. have no idea what they're doing. They just shoot without it, asking. Chaos and. And it also goes back to her and how good she is in that scene. Yeah. Like she was mad at him, legit mad, but she loved him. And yeah. like, and she was she was devastated that that, that, that happened and that whole moment that would happen. And then this is why this show plays more into the mature side of it. Like they could have, in another Star Wars show, they could have just not had her, she's bloody, that added yeah. to the scene. And it wasn't gratuitous, it added to the scene. And you feel like, oh wow, this is like, this is raw. This is yeah. a, this is a, problem right now what this is this is to show how scary the empire and this isn't even the empire uh, i know the, the influence is, of the empire is, yeah. is, is how scary that is and then when you actually do show to the the empire side of uh, of it um how much have they shown the empire for the i just know they have the box that he's got with the imperial logo okay. they're trying to get that so they haven't shown, oh, they they haven't shown a lot the empire has not shown okay. up in anything i've okay. seen okay hey. so they lead up to it and again this is we why we know it's coming but this is why i say that the episodes one, two, and three, and then I think it's four, five, and six have like their own arc that plays. It's it's not separate. You've seen the six already? I saw four. You saw four. I saw four. But what they? But I remember at celebration when. Why Gil, did they do that for you guys? Why didn't they just give you three? Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> um, but but I remember at celebration yeah. when Gilroy came out and he talked about. Well, first of he said he wanted to do three seasons, and D Diego Luna's like, well, I only signed up for two. His uh, he he was so he was at he was at a but, but yeah. But the it was they did say though that it was going to be like. One two three, one two three, like like story arcs. Yeah, the way yeah. That they were gonna play it, and I think that works really, really well. Yeah, I think they needed to do it that way in hindsight, especially because I've seen four. Yeah. Because there's a lot of nuance, and they're like introducing parts of the empire that aren't just like, oh, this is the empire, the big bad. Like, there's actual divisions in it yes. that make sense to the story. It was the thing I was telling you, and again, without spoiling anything, yeah. the thing that I said I need to see in this series. Is I'm like is I need to see the empire side of it, and I need to see the yeah. human side of the empire and the politics within the empire, and you get that and more. Is all right. I'll say. But what I will also say is that what I think that this show has done well, and it do in, in all four four episodes, but the spoiler points from one and three. So even though I love the Luke Skywalker episode and Mandalorian episode of of Boba Fett, those were essentially called Mandalorian. 2.5 right or yeah. whatever it was right and 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 deservedly so yeah there is those episodes that don't focus on the main character of the show called boba fett this series is about andor and i said i don't know if i want the whole thing about andor first of all you do yeah and the other side is when they jump to another story point whether it's the girl or anybody else too even even um what's her face from uh help me my my uh the uh Oh, and, uh, Fiona Shaw? Yes, Fiona Shaw. Yeah. So when they jump to her in the way that that, that all right. plays out, it's relevant. It's relevant to all of it, and it's and it shows you the good writing of the balance of it all. They, The editing of episode three 
cutting between his story and present oh, day so and his good. story was fantastic yeah. because sometimes good. it seems like it's a trope and with the flashbacks i was getting a little by episode two is like all right i see what they're doing but by three the way they intercut it and built it like okay this life is over this is his new it's life going beginning. forward it's I, beginning. Like, yeah. oh, it got me it's great symbolism yeah they great job on that all together and and what it's made me realize though the more and more is like as you see you know, we've talked about this and i i don't i'm not taking shots at gareth edwards but you can just tell very much so that Rogue One is Tony Gilroy's movie. It's his. And the reason why, well, I don't know. I don't know. They, give, they still give him credit. Well, where's he been? You direct a billion-dollar movie, and then you just disappear? That doesn't happen. He hasn't done, yeah. He's doesn't, it doesn't happen. And maybe yeah. He either said, I, this now, is too much for me or anything, too. But what I will tell you, this, Mike, yeah. uh, I say from now on, for especially because there was a report that Tony Gilroy got his own series now with Star Wars, and he's doing more in a development deal, and, and uh, we don't know if it's true or not. But what I will say is you got to bet on Tony Gilroy now, right? And you also, if you're going to bet, you got to use my bookie. So my bookie, ladies and gentlemen, my bookie. Um, if you haven't used my bookie, you should be using my bookie. And especially if you're, if you're betting on these games, man. Listen to this deal. Listen to this deal. It's Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers, Mac Jones, Lamar Jackson. It's a show of young guns and the old guard, and nothing makes the matchups more exciting than if you have skin at the game and use it at my bookie. My bookie, they have super contests, survivor pools, double deposit bonus that gives you everything you need to secure the bag. And getting started is very simple. You sign up today and use that code big thing and you'll double your first deposit instantly. You put 100 bucks and you get 200 bucks in there. That's promo code big thing to, to double your deposit up, up close to 1000 bucks with my bookie. It's not your grandfather's bookie. This is my bookie. Put your money where your mouth is and get rewarded for it. You got to begin your winning season today exclusively at my bookie. If you're going to bet on a game, and you're going to put a deposit down, and you decide to just put 100 bucks down, I'm betting 100 Do 200 Put 200 down, do 400 And use that code. I know a lot of people that have been using that code, and they're happy about it. Some people, they, they delivered. Um, all right, moving back over to Andor, finishing, you know, well, it's a lot, a lot that we can talk about. How about PissBot? I love PissBot. <laughs> I know that I said on my review, I, the problem is I love this, this new droid. Yeah. But I... In my reaction, I saw him get pissed on by one of those pigs or whatever they were, and I and I said, "Oh, that's pissbot." And I call him, and a poor thing. I just call him pissbot now. But I, pissbot's funny. Him. When it oh, when his first shot went, and he came in. I was oh, like, pissbot? "Oh my god, Wally! This is so oh, yeah, Wally!" Is. Like oh, the yeah. whole scene Wally. with like the yeah, whole trash. Yeah, that's scene, it was. And he's it like was. picking up. So yeah. I, it was so cute. I love that guy. Pissbot's great. Yeah. <laughs> she put some respect on his name. He is. He's, he's the, so he, cute. Pee-bot? He bought, he bought, boo bought, but he's he's um yeah I I think uh I, he's he's great and his delivery is great it's like dry, but that's the other thing people were were saying as far as Star Wars humor goes like you don't like any comedy in no, Star this Wars is it. incorrect I love Star Wars humor when it's relevant yeah. and it feels like yeah. it's earned yeah. or. If they would have started cracking jokes, this is what would have had the difference between some of the shows now with Marvel and and even some of the Star Wars shows, yeah. as opposed to this. Skarsgård and Andor in that battle when they're trying to get the hell out of there and that yeah. whole big action scene. In other shows, there's a couple jokes thrown out in there, running, you know, like, stick around, boo, that type of stuff, whatever it might be, right. like, silliness. You can't have that in a moment like that yeah. because it takes it detracts it. However, when Pissbot starts throwing out these lines... And it's funny, and you're like, okay, that, that I buy into it. Yeah, I buy into it, and I, that's the type of humor. Now, this isn't going to be a knee slapper. This isn't going to be one of those right. things. And there's there's some Star Wars shows that or, or movies that, that call for humor, and the characters can be funnier. Yeah, this one, piss spot, is the comic relief. Yeah, I think I think they balance comedy in this the four episodes, the three episodes, yeah. really well. Where at the end, I was like, okay, that's exactly the balance I like. In Star Wars, not yeah. always, but like right now, this feels like the sweet spot. It does, and that's why someone said to me, "Do you do you like this better than Mandalorian?" Like I said, this Mandalorian has two seasons. Yeah, it's yeah. like not it, a it's, and it, they're different tones, but the, and this is this is I just I'm very excited about the idea. To me, this is easily the most mature Star Wars that we've gotten so far, and you got to ha- you, your attention span has to be really locked in in order to enjoy the show. Yeah, I think that's it. what I would say to someone if they'd ask me my favorite because like Mandalorian, I could take one episode. And just watch the heck out of it right. over and over again. Right. This I can't do. I can't pick. It's like I'm going to watch episode two of Andor. This is you, you, right. You'd be jumping into the middle right. of, the, it, of the it, thing. It, right, and that's so it's it's tough to say. Yeah, um, I, I'm curious though because I think he did for all three. It was the same director. If we're doing these in three blocks, they're kind of saying, are they one director to gets three chunks? 
I, think I, that, I don't know. I think I'm that, curious. Well, I, I know that the other, as far as how it's written, Tony Gilroy, I think, wrote the first two or three, and then his brother wrote four or Dan? five. Dan? I think so. Okay. I can't remember. Yeah, I think um, it's okay. Either way, I think, they get, I think they go back and forth with writing mm-hmm. them, though, too. It just, this is the thing, is that Tony Gilroy is not a massive Star Wars fan. He is a major fan of this story and this time period and the overall of what is happening. So that's that's another difference, right? Like yeah. a lot of times they say like, okay, if someone's not a big Star Wars fan and they don't get the, then why the hell are they making it? And I still feel that way. Yeah. But it's different if someone's like, no, but I really believe in this and I'm still going to learn about it now. I don't know if he's going to change up the Separatist stuff and throw the book behind his, his shoulder yeah. like he said. He might not. I, but he's he's added Saw Gerrera in there when I asked I'm gonna him I'm going to say too. this because, and I get a lot of flack for this, Gilroy... Uh, was responsible for the Born Legacy. Yes, and I love that movie. Yeah, it didn't disregard anything that came before it. It embraced that world and built it out more. Oh, the one with Renner. Renner. Yeah. So he didn't. He's like, Did Gilroy eh, they, direct they, that one? Yeah. Okay. And he's not like uh, they're doing other stuff with right. Treadstone, and I want to make my own thing. They incorporated it incredibly well. Yeah, it did. It's just, and this it, film, it's just star. It was just star power. Look, Jeremy Renner yeah. has has power. Yeah, of course. Power. He doesn't have the, the same star they, power. People as didn't as have. Damon. People wanted Damon. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel very similar with this series and that movie, and I I, I, I love that. I, it's like the spy stuff. We'll get there. We've seen it in the trailers. It's it's there. We'll for get me. there. It's there for me, man. Like I really, yeah. like the idea of like the and just how they're starting to set it up. Like yeah, I like that we didn't, didn't get thrown into it because it's five years beforehand, and the idea of how he is, yeah. is getting involved. And I think going back to what you said, as far as I've been in this since I was, he's been on the run. He's been fighting all of his life. He's been doing this. Maybe we don't know necessarily. He didn't, he never, he never justified he never what the used fight the words. was. He never assumed, used the words. Right. You was against. It. He said, I've been doing this. I've been, I, I've been fighting. I've been in yeah. this fight since I've been sick. I think and that's, that's the true. point is that you don't have a choice when you have right. an oppressive regime over. But I'm curious you. because he's saying it to Ray. And now, and not right to Ray, to Jin. Jin. And now seeing Jin and, and what we've seen of Andor, very similar upbringings. Yeah. Off on their own, kind of yeah. doing their own thing. I think that's why, probably, on the lamp. That's probably so why like, he responds to her, you know? It, by the end of the series, it's going to be interesting to see if what Gilroy did, if he took the book and was like, nah. I don't well, think so. We'll see, I mean, the, the book itself, that's just one throwaway type of thing. Not, not throwaway, I shouldn't say that, but it's it's a major point of information, actually. But it's um, the line itself, it, it's where... Right. His parents were separatists, and that's kind of the growing up. And I wonder, I'd love to hear if they paid attention to because what I've heard is that there's not a lot of, I don't want to say merit, but there's not like they're, they're not as beholden to the books and the comics as yeah. people want them to be, right? right? They are more so like TV and, and film, like they, even though sometimes that even gets negated too, but, but they, but it's all that to them, to me, what, what I hear is that it's to them, that's the canon. The, they're like, Filoni ain't gonna be going back and really caring whether or not he messes around some yeah. Lords of the Sith lore or anything too, which I get bumped about. Right, but I can't imagine if he if he doesn't care, I can't imagine that Tony Kilroy cares at all. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's almost like we're telling the story; it's so good, but it's kind of twisting what was said before. It's like, yeah, and if we go to down that road, it's not as strong a story. It's like, well, all right. We don't need to deal with that. Yeah. And, and but like which, yeah. you just said, and I didn't realize that. I'm glad I didn't. Like, I didn't realize until I saw a poster recently, and I looked good at the poster, that Saw's in this. Mm. Oh, yeah. He's in the trailer. I, like, I don't know if I'm just trying to stay. I've stopped watching yeah. trailers yeah. and stuff because I want to go in fresh. But I was just like, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and I'm sure that the dimensions in the way, that's, but that, again, I do like how they, how they are able to mention certain things that happen without hammering you over the head with yeah. it also. And I like the idea of the, the that security system, again, who's really influenced and wants to pay a favor with the Empire right. that's really running this down. And, and it, the only thing I didn't love, by the way, is the, the, I didn't love the speech when our guy, the, the main villain right now, yeah. is giving a speech and then this guy's yawning in the middle of his speech and, like, you know, doing right. That, to me, was starting to venture down that humor that I don't like. I it didn't was, find that necessarily as humor as much as like he has no idea what he's doing. Uh, yes, well, that well, that that, think, that was the point, no no doubt. But they were trying to get like a couple of oh, well, they're think, really not yeah, taking this yeah. guy. But serious. I think the guy also those uh, the guys that with him were like, what are we doing? We got to go to this planet to do what? One hundred percent. They just want to clock in and clock oh, out. Oh my god! The, mo- the moment, yeah, of, clock the, in and clock why out. Why the moment was there? Yeah. 
understandable. Right. It was that was the only part of the entire three episodes I that see what I you're saw saying. that I went. I didn't love the way it was directed. Mm. Okay, it, just, it felt a little like kind of like they really don't take this guy serious. <laughs> oh yeah, like and I'm like, like just show that you don't. Yeah, you yeah. could do it in a way where it's just like hey, they just really. it was that was the whole that was the only time. Yeah, I get the you. majority of the series. What I feel is this is what I really like about the series. It it, it asks the audience like it, it treats the audience as if just, it's intelligent audience watching it the entire time it's like this is this is a we want yeah. we, we trust in you guys to to really uh, you know understand what the hell's going on here and to listen to the dialogue and it was the only time in that whole thing where we're just like let's let them really know that they don't think that this guy's got what it, it takes and to, it's like oh that was the only moment that I, was it to your point and i think it because i'm still trying to figure out like I, what was he doing on that one ship in the junkyard where the guy's like, uh-uh, you're done. No more. Get out of here. Like, was he stealing? Like, but they don't spoon feed us what's going on. Right, right. So I, and we're again. still, so I, and, and it, it's a little bit of a like, oh, you got to pay attention. You right. can't be having this on in the background and talking. No, this You've is really got to lock in. in. That's what I thing. love so a show. I, do, I yeah. love that they respect the audience enough to say, we, we, Think that you'll be able to you'll lock in we trust you enough that you'll lock into it right. and you don't want to just go oh look at the pretty so colors. people i saw one thing with the people like all right join us tonight we're gonna do a watch along i was like no i would never want to do a watch along to this show with people talking everything this is a show the like you don't, want, you don't want to watch my videos the I did. second watch. you did a watch along with I, this i did i did my with reaction Ander? to it i did my reaction to it yep yeah. uh, when i was watching because i because I, I found my because what i did i did my reaction but do people watch that the first time they're watching it? I hope not. No. I hope you go not. back and you watch you it again, watch so you pick up more right. stuff. Right, right. Absolutely. Right. Not a, yeah, no, no, no. You don't, I would never want anybody to watch along with me watching right. it the first time. Not I, this show. That's why it's cut It's cut down. Nerd Chronic edit, edits them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and it's like he cuts them to like nine or ten minutes just to show the moments that I kind of react off of the there most. There you go. So, yeah, I agree with you. I wouldn't want to watch it the first, but because I am legit just kind of watching it and like, like the you see me name him Pissbot for the first time when, we, when he comes in. I go, oh, they, the pig just pissed on the, on the droid. Oh, the pigs so there were, were there were because there were a couple times in the, the I think the first second episode where I went to my phone for something and I was like oh I just missed something important yeah, damn yes, it yes. and I had to rewind but like Boba Fett I'm on my that. phone I'm on the computer like this you can't do that and can't. I love it's focus me it's forced me to go oh I have to pay attention I, to this and now. as much as I don't and I don't mind Boba Fett no it's fine and I don't mind Obi Wan's fine but they are dumbed down. When you compare them to this show, they yeah, are okay. dumbed down significantly. And this is a benefit that this show has over those other shows and where I, I still think that, you know, it sucks for the for Obi-Wan where, and I'm one of these people that still thinks it was crucial to have some of the original music in there. I know some people don't agree. They say, oh, it could stand on its own. I think you need it because in the past you've heard certain themes with Obi-Wan, whether it's in prequels or anything else too, and you saw how much more powerful, in my opinion, that it was when the Duel of Fates were playing when they were fighting in, in fan cuts than it was without the other stuff. Uh. Now, the difference with this show is it doesn't really have anything. You don't. Someone's like, oh, there's no Star Wars theme. You don't need it. No. You don't need it for this. The composer of this episode of this series is next level good like i don't I, I i forget the composer's name i'll find it in a second there was some interesting stuff when they showed like so good, i, I want to say it was either the market area or the main strip area that was like uh, some uh style of, of music that i've never heard in star wars before yeah. there was like rock yeah. music yeah yeah that's yeah, what it was like full-on drumming but yeah my favorite part of i think the three episodes whoopsies was when they're like uh, they've landed on the planet to come get Cassian and they have his mom like held up and the entire town starts banging. Oh, so good. The, I'm like, so good. And then she's like, you hear that yep. sound of a reckoning. I was like, damn. And like, they said it's even worse. Sick. And it's even worse when it stops. Yeah, that was that that whole thing of the way the unity so of that good. whole town and all that was put together so well. And I called that guy the funky DJ because he was like when he was going up but, just normally going and then it was going nuts banging on I the pipes loved and the him. pots. I was like, oh, imagine so that's good. your job. Every yeah. morning you wake up and you're about to throw down a beat Hit for the, the funky entire beast city. With, Boom. with pots and pans Boom. and everything. Yeah, <laughs> it was like pointless but so important. So that scene <laughs> but that you know But that it, scene was it was subtle and not subtle at the same time. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like how can banging on pots and pans be subtle? And it's like because they don't need the big alarms and the yeah. big, and it, and, it, and it costs you nothing. It's a sound effect. Yeah, and it yeah. shows Boom. you that the people, That's like, it. although they've been complacent and quiet for this time that you've been here, they all 
hate you. Yeah. <laughs> they all <laughs> don't ha- they do not f with you, and they will let people know because they're for yeah. the people. People were asking, I think, at one point because I forget when the budget came out. I think this this show cost more than Obi Wan does. I think from what I from what I heard, it makes sense. It, it makes does. sense, and especially after you see it, it makes yeah. sense. It does. This looks very cinematic. Now, I was supposed to go to they had a they had a screening of the first um, three episodes at the El Capitan last week. Yeah, and I wasn't feeling well. I didn't go, but I was the, I was and I already had seen them. Yeah, but I was bummed. Because I, um, I think that this one would really play on the big screen. I think this would really. We, we got a chance to watch Obi Wan yeah. one and two on the big screen, and it'll look good. Yeah, but this looks cinematic. It's just, I don't know if it's the fact that here in Central or South Cal, SoCal, with Boba, Mando, and the volume and everything, and it. Obi Wan was the first time I really saw the limitations of the volume, like the running scenes, yeah. and you're just like, okay, they they're working with what they have, so they're on a, like they have limited space to run, and they've got a yeah. like the cuts they didn't make sense when they were running during things, and this they created that entire town, and you knew exactly the location of your action, you knew yeah. where they were in relation to each other. There was never any guessing of what did he just turn down there? What where is this in relation to that scene? It just. It's, I mean, it's location for you know, me. And I know, shouldn't say this. I know you love, you, you guys do love the Eternals. And I will give I that the Eternals, yeah. props because they went on location and, and she had said, uh, I want to shoot this on location. Yeah. And he was like, go for it. And it does give them movie well, yeah, a, you look an incredible at Thor, feel. Thor looks really fake. It looks like you're in this room. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah. The, you know, it does make me realize, and even though we've, we've been very vocal, Mike, that we're on a disagreement when it comes to lightsabers and Star Wars, but like, yeah. but there I will go. say this though. I know I would be so curious though, not in this necessary, not in this series per se, right. but I am so curious to see what a Tony Gilroy written lightsaber fight would look like. Like, you know, in meaning like, imagine what a lightsaber fight would look like in, right. in Andor, because to me, uh, the, the most attractive part of Star Wars is that I feel like, and we've talked about this many times when it feels lived and when it feels real, like it feels yeah. like I'm not like I'm being invited into a, a window, into a, a place that of something really happened. Right. Mm-hmm. The last few things have seemed very like whether it's like fake or mm-hmm. not not as far as quality goes, but I mean even like the, just to, like, oh I'm watching a Star Wars television show. Yeah. And right? I'm watch. This feels like I'm watching a political thriller in another galaxy, and like it all feels real. Like the yeah. characters feel real. The, it's, the like you know the, the stakes feel real. And I think I mean. I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on what it is I, about it. I can't. It just feels. I don't know. It yeah, fe- it feels, it feels, it feels like, real. It yeah, feels real. It, like I, my, the, the biggest stick out to me was always in Obi Wan is that rooftop chase battle with the right. lizard that, man. That's a it, gr- great example. I know that. Look, and that's an aliens, right? So let's talk about aliens. Yeah. Because you guys know how much I hate when aliens oh. speak basic. Yeah. It worked for me in this. That big guy. It worked. He just told me I got to stand here. I don't know why it worked. I know. But it, it worked. It just did. It worked. But then you've got in Obi-Wan that alligator like, I am my... Right. And it's like two hulking monsters. It, it's bizarre. Two probably like, guys in suits. Yeah. One worked, one didn't. It's bizarre. And I don't know why. I, it's the same. I think it's the same answer because it felt real. And it felt, and, and, and whatever the voice, yeah. or whatever it was to, it felt real. Like that whole thing of just like, why are you working with this guy? He told me I just had to stand here. I just here. had to stand here. And, and then was, he leaves and he's and just like. It. And it was it. Right, and, that was, and that was part of, again, the humor that I thought That's the worked. humor that works. And it worked because it wasn't just, it was like, hey. <laughs> it was, it was more, it wasn't that kind of over your head. Like, we got it. It's time for a joke. It was, no, this is what the character, the character's like, I don't know. The guy wanted me to make you feel intimidated. So yeah, I'm, just, I'm a big guy. I'm a big dude. I'm saying, I don't want to be here. And it's like, I, I got that. And when, and I said it in my reaction, I'm like. I don't mind that he's speaking basic. Right. It, it works. It's not to say that he, it just feels like the other ones when they're speaking basic, it feels like they don't know another language. Like Lady Proxim. <laughs> There's no reason. Oh, Solo, what are you doing there, guy? Oh, you got your girlfriend? What are we doing? Hey, everybody, get him. It's like, how much more intimidating? Oh, some do, my dog, I don't, don't, don't. You're like, oh, yeah. stop that. I'm scared. Yeah. Because I felt like she would do that to intimidate. This guy didn't need to intimidate. He's just talking to his buddies in basic. He knows basic. He'll talk basic. Yeah. Loved that. And I love that. And I think that goes to your question, Mike, is that because I believed it. I believed that it was set up. And I and that's why yeah, I said with the lightsabers is. is that I'd want to see what he would do. Or And it's not even him anymore, Steph. It's the question of if this show gets the kind of critical response 
And it does. I wonder what it's going to do on Disney Plus. I'm not, I don't think it's going to do the kind of ratings that, that Obi Wan. No, did. no. But I think it's going to do well enough. The question is, do you think that they would start to approach more Star Wars shows in this vein? Because can you imagine if Obi Wan was approached this particular way? Wait, hold on. I want to hear. I want to get something. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I do. I think that if this is well received by critics that are outside of Star Wars, it's going to matter in the meetings for how they approach other shows moving forward. Which is why I am so into this show because it's exactly it's kind of like what you get from the books. It gets a little more in depth yeah. and flushed yes. out and serious, yes. and and I think that this could be a really good thing for the shows moving forward, especially when you have think about shows like Acolyte moving into production. Right. I think that would affect it. I have to say something because I'm listening to you guys, and and it it's almost two different things: Mando, Boba, Obi Wan, and Andor. Four different things. Well, those three are together, and then Andor's by itself. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Now I'm thinking: imagine a Rogue One. In Andor's Star Wars, an acolyte done this way. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I mean. So I'm just like, but that's what I mean. That's, I think but they're going to do that. But this is why I I'm hyped know. up with Leslie I mean, Hinland, though, because but I love it. Because I Russian love Doll is, even though there's this humor and stuff in there too, but it's, it's but it's it's serious. Yeah, and I think that that's what that's why I've been so excited about that series. And and people have been have been tagging me since our videos on the fact of whether or not it's happening. They're casting it. It seems well, there's it's report, happening. There's reporting left that's and right. Happening. It's happening. I ho- I just. I agree that it's happening. I, uh, yeah, the, I'm being cut off. Good boss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I no, cut myself I, off. I cut myself off. I, I agree that it's happening. Yeah. I'm still very confused why at your <laughs> biggest events on both Celebration yeah. and D23, you don't mention it. I'm not talking about doing big things. You don't even mention it. That, I don't know. I, that, it's still confusing, but there is casting coming out. And again, whether it's confirmed or just or, or reported by the Hollywood Reporter or whatever it might be, it's coming out. There's, there seems to be new casting on that show every other Thursday. Right. So it, it's going to happen. I just wish that there'd be put some more, more love would be put into the promotion of it. And I know we're probably like two years out yeah. from when it comes out. But to go to Mike's point, I like another way, and what Steph just said as far as the whether or not they start to switch it out and it, it, because of, in that room, uh, if you will, if this show gets nominated for an Emmy, yeah. then they're definitely going to switch around. Oh, definitely. Around. Definitely. It's the only one I would think of any of their shows that would get nominated. It's the only one that is, like, when you say it, that I could take it seriously. Yeah. For it to be out at the same time of House of the Dragon and yeah. uh, Rings of Power, yeah. mm. and it to be in the same conversation as saying something for Star Wars. I agree, and I think that that's... And what you do have to realize, though, too, like, I'm still... Very much so, and I stand by it, that I think Star Wars television is the way to go until they have a full-cut plan on movies. I get you like watching Star Wars movies in the theater, and that's how you think Star Wars should be celebrated. I get it, and I respect it. The problem is they got no plan. They don't know what movie they're doing. I would rather them just wait. There clearly is a plan with television, and there's a way to develop characters throughout that plan. Now, the thing is that some people say Mandalorian started out strong, and that's why people still have uh, – that's why you got a lot of fans out there in the first place. You put out seasons – one and you put out season two whatever it was and people were like oh man gimme 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 and then boba fett if boba fett would have been shot like this in that gangster way that we're talking we're in a very different conversation about boba fett right now i'll tell you that you know it's funny when the whole benioff and weiss <coughs> game of thrones guys were on board for star wars this is what i thought boba they fett would have delivered or, yeah. or boba fett but like this type oh benioff and weiss would have delivered their star wars would have been I what see, we're getting I with see. Andor. like yeah. when they were attached i was like oh we're gonna get that game of thrones in Star Wars, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, right? A little bit like, more of that serious, serious thing. adult. So and, here we are with I, it, and I think that there's probably those conversations with people because when you go to the George Lucas's original philosophy, yeah. he made Star Wars for children, he sure. made it for kids. So now the Star Wars brand has evolved for sure too, and that's not to say you don't make shows for kids and you shouldn't make you know some of the lighter shows. You absolutely should. Should every show be like this? No, no. It is the beauty also of being having me able to have this platform is that you can experiment, and I think that there are certain shows that maybe call for a lighter thing. Like I'm very curious to see what John Watts does with like Skeleton Crew with the kids and do like a Stranger Thing type of thing. I think that's a very smart idea, and it could be it yeah. could be something really, um, really good and different. But I think that when you get a subject matter like Obi Wan and Boba Fett, and when you're talking about Boba Fett being a gangster, you know, like that kind of gangster, right? If yeah. they would have done that, like Gilroy has been doing, or, or the, the team that's doing Andor, yeah. and put that kind of like grittiness and like full on gangster story, 
we're not talking about Boba Fett the way like ah, it was all right. You're talking about wow, that's yeah. that's and a nutty show. If you're thinking about and Steph, if you if you think about this time period that we're in, you know, pre Battle of Yavin, this is the one of the worst times for the Star Wars universe of what's Easy. happening. Yeah. So this fits. So like Skeleton Crew, that's years after. We do, do we know when that set Skeleton Crew? It's during the same time of uh, of a Mandalorian stuff. It's it's gonna it's so gonna so after Jedi. Or, it's after Jedi. It's, so it's so it's a, it's a different time. All, time in all the, the stuff universe. that was hanging in Mandalorian right. is around. It's and around that, that works. Period. And that's why because I, I love that you said that. I don't want everything to come out now in the style of Andor. Right. No. 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 It can't, it can't because you would get exhausted yeah. by that. You would, because because you'd have. Star Wars can still be fun and still have that time. I think it just depends on the time period and where and the subject matter you're dealing with. Like, yeah, subject. The Obi Wan subject matter should have definitely been handled a little bit more serious than than it than it was. It was too lighter and it almost felt like a like almost animated at times. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, I think that like I like Star Wars to take a more serious approach in general. I think that we can live in a time where there's different degrees of that seriousness. But what I th- want people to take that they did in Andor really well is that you can still be graphic without being graphic. Yeah. Like when mm. Andor shot or Cassian shot the two people yes. and they died, you don't really see it, but, but you, you know it. what happens you and you it. feel yep. it. That's and great. you can do that approach to all of the things moving forward. Like it doesn't need to be like pew pew, like fake killing. Right. Like right. people are dying and they right. have been dying. So show it in a way that is death. It doesn't like, feel like, like actors joke. playing with blasters going, yeah. I'm in Star Wars yeah, now. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, that, and it feels like that in a lot of times, right? Like yeah. you, when there's, and again, not the, the Power Rangers racing around on their bikes and that thing. It's like, oh, I get it. You want to stylize it and stuff too, but it, it feels out of place. I'm not thinking about the story anymore. Yeah. I'm thinking about why it feels out of place, and I don't feel like anything's out of place in this episode in in this series so no. far. And again, we're three episodes in. Yeah, yeah now, we don't we, yeah. don't we don't know yet, but it's if it continues down this road. There's so much going on now with Andor having to well, and I, and I love the fact that it shows a lot about his character, little character things. He's in this whole thing with Skarsgård, and he keeps going back for the relic for the for the Empire thing. He keeps going back for it, and Skarsgård's like, "Who cares? Let's get the hell out of here." Yeah. He's like, "I'm going back for it. I gotta get it." And he keeps going back. It shows his spirit with just that moment. With they're able to cram in so much about that character in that. And now that you said that, it, it hit me right now. I didn't think of it at the moment. It, it's. Reminiscent to me of Obi Wan going, you just took your first step into a much larger world. Yes. Kid. Like, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. This little this little code thing. Come with me, Do and your eyes more. are going to be open. Right. And I, and they zip out on the on the bike yeah. together. And yeah, I, I I don't mean to take shots, but when you you take shots, well, look at Obi Wan in that scene when Vader when Vader goes and and goes to and he thinks he's catching Obi Wan, and yeah. they go and they take off, and he catches the one decoy, and he blows it up. Yeah, he blows it up first, right? And then it's like, oh, he's like, okay, I got him. And then the second ship just wee. This does the same thing yeah. with the decoy, but it's just done better. The directing, the way it directed better, it's like you fooled me for a second. I'm like, wait, were those, were those guys in it? Like you knew in the Obi Wan thing, that's not them, right? You know, in this one, you're like, wait, what the hell just happened? And then it wee zips by, and you're like, <laughs> and you're like, yes! And then scarsco has got that 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 crap eaten grin on his yeah. face as he's going through. Like I don't know, it's just it's it just shows how important execution is because when. This and Mike Mike knows it. When this show was announced, I went, Yeah. Andor? Eh. Yeah. I, I, of all the stuff, I think this was your least like I, eh, I said, well, I, I said, why? I said, why? I said, I said, who cares? I said, yeah. you know what happens. Right. To them. You knew what happened. I said, you know what I said, and I said the only thing, I said the only thing to me that could really get me interested is that they really play into the politics of this. They play yeah. it serious and they show the side of the Empire as well. You haven't seen four yet, but everything so far that I've wanted from this show, they've delivered, and I care about Cassian way more than I thought I would, and and I don't care if I know his, his ending because I because I didn't know a lot about him, and I'm learning more about him, and it's going to make me care about him even more when I go back and watch Rogue One again. But it wasn't even the Empire, but we saw the whole other side. You know, we saw the the, the two Part different the sides, like side, you know, Mustache McGillicuddy and, and all them, and 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 the influence of them too, and what. Yeah. And the political system of like, well, I believe in the empire. I'm not really necessarily. I kind of. It's like I know the guy. Like, you, you, yeah. He's like, wait, you're friends with him? But kind of uh, <laughs> work with his cousin's uncle. You know, it's like that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. And and that works well because they're trying to get into favor and they're trying to show yeah. what they can do. And then it's just like, but don't mess, don't mess with these people though. When you go in there to their own place, they're gonna be banging on pots and pans. And next thing you know, you're laying in your own piss. And <laughs> and they because they. And I love that they also took this guy. They didn't make him like this ultimate badass. Yeah, he's scared. He's got not. He's got balls. He's trying. The the one the, the, young the, kid, uh, the main guy. Yeah, the main guy. Like because Cassian just sneaks up right behind him. He's just like, all right, 
Yeah. Come on, stupid. And he should have whacked him at that point. It's interesting that. Oh he, yeah, that they didn't, didn't kill him. Didn't that kill was him. the but that was the one thing that I was like, oh, that was interesting. Everything else, what I loved about the show was that. It didn't feel like they were like, okay, this needs to happen so this ha- can happen. Right. We mm. need to put this in so that they grab this later in this episode. Everything was like seamless of like how things would go down. Yeah. I, I didn't question it once. That was the only time I was like, huh, I think he would have killed him. But he tells him to. Scarlet yeah. tells him to. And I'm and glad they added that part. And I like that. I see. I like that he didn't kill him yeah. because I think that he's because at this point he's feeling like he just took those two guys out. It's not something he wanted to do. He's not like it's right. Not he cheap. did not. Yeah. Want, it's not eating him up, but he doesn't feel good about it. Yeah. No. And and like so he's like, do I have to kill this guy right now? Scarlet's like, yeah, pop him in the head. <laughs> and he and he doesn't because the thing oh yeah there's other there's yeah, other I haven't seen it yet there's other things that could come into play. One thing though that I also wanted this is like kind of being nitpicky because I don't really care about trailers, but the thing that bugged me about Boba Fett was that we got this trailer that made it look like we were gonna get like a mafia show, yeah, right? Yeah. Like gangsters at the table yeah. sitting together. You thought that was gonna happen multiple times. Yes. Like this is the new family, like meet meet up. But and then we didn't at right. all. We got that in one scene. I think the penultimate episode, and it really meant nothing. It meant nothing. It like, built there expectations was, through trailer and didn't deliver on. It didn't deliver. Yes. This was what we saw in the trailer, yep. and then more. Agreed. Like, there was I, not one storyline that I was like, "Damn, that didn't happen. That's weird." From what they presented in the trailers, trailer. I know you're I, no, saying, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm I'm so glad you both said that because I, I I kind of wanted to step away from arguing with people on Twitter, and something happened <laughs> last week with Boba Fett, and I said it didn't give us the show that they. Were promising, and then they were like, "Well, you need to adjust your expectations once you got your, the show because that's you." Were, I go, "No, they different. sold me a bill of goods right. and didn't deliver this." All the trailers that I have seen are still selling. Now I'm watching three. Going, it's oh, the show. It's, we're getting there. Right. Yeah. The spy stuff you, is coming. That's, that's right. When you present something in a trailer, that's that's the difference. If yeah. You, if you announce, here's a show that's coming out, and you go, "Oh, I hope it's about this, 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 and this," and it's not. Yeah. That's on you. Yeah. That's on you. If they show you a trailer and you're like, "Oh, it's not going to be that at all. It's going to be this." In the trailer, the goal of the trailer is to say, this is the show that we hope you will watch because we think this is what we're presenting to you. Right. Now, guessing story points and things like that, that's different. If, you, if you're guessing story points inside the same tone that they set up and everything, again, on you. If they present something in a trailer right. and it, it makes like it plot. It, it looks like plot and they make it seem like in that show, they, and even... And, Favreau even says it in interviews. They wanted to go The Godfather, and they watched all these different yeah. gangster things. That is not a gangster show. It no. isn't. No. Like, it really isn't. There's gangster movements and gangster things that happen sometimes, but the formation of mafia and all that and the, the inside, it's not. And for people who go, well, it's Star Wars. What do you expect? Watch Andor. That's well, the but difference. See, watching That's Andor, what you can now say. A lot of the trailers didn't show one, two, and three stuff. A lot of the stuff we've seen is feud, like Mon Mothma, this right, and that. So right. I was like, but I don't feel deceived. I'm like, oh, yes, no, this because, is. Because tone is consistent. That's yes, different. and I'm like, I know we're getting there. Right. They teased me. I'm on board they, now. They're teasing you. They're, they're, they're presenting inside of the trailers right. political spy thriller. That is exactly what this show is. I can say this right now, 100% with certainty for myself. We're going to get to the end of this 12 episodes, and I'm not going to go, oh, it didn't say what the trailer was. I, right. I, I, I'm not going to say that. It already no, has. It already has. It's, it already it's has. the slowly getting right. there. And after the first two episodes, I was kind of like, okay, we got to get going here. I'm not See, I'm that, not 100% but that, seeing but what... That, but, but that's different, though. That's no, I know. Because you still have, an, as far as expectations go, of wondering, because your expectations were, well, we're going to see Andor in this role already. Right. They never present that in the trailer. Right. They, they, they just present, this is what the show is going to feel like. Yeah. And it feels like that. Yeah. Like they took the moments in Boba Fett, you know, and, and to, to be fair, uh, whether you like the choices that were made in Obi-Wan, the tone was, for the most part, pretty similar. I mean, they yeah. had, they had, more, they had no, way more yeah, lighter I moments. Would, I would say similar. Obi-Wan was the, was the uh, yeah. execution and the expectation for sure. But, yes. but that was different than Boba. No. <laughs> you know, Diego Luna, though, the thing with him is that he, the guy, he never ages. <laughs> He never ages, and I think they well, used, no. I think he's using geology. Oh, I got to tell you, I, I would tell you that if you ask me, I think he's using geology because if you didn't know, and I got to tell Mike about this, Mike's gonna love this stuff. We, geology just came on as a sponsor, and we're excited. You're gonna love it, dude. It's a men's skincare, and it's reinvented, and it is amazing. Geology, G E O L O G I E, geology. Basically, what we can um, just working as a content creator in general. You work long hours, you're, whether it's everyday life, having a wife, kids, 
for me, it's helped me with the dark circles under my eyes. And 50% of guys suffer from under eye issues like dark under eye circles, puffiness, tired eyes, fine lines, and wrinkles. I've been using it for a little bit. It's been helping already. It's really great. And if you use my code, by the way, if you use my code, and it's G-E-O-L-O-G dot I-E slash Christian 70, you get 70% off, which is amazing. It's really good. It's got 5,000 five-star reviews, and their skincare is built on just a handful of powerful proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. Really amazing stuff. And they have other, this geology also has stuff that you can fight acne, reduce oiliness, oiliness, excuse me, uh, prevent wrinkles, and again, combat dark or puffy under eyes. It's just, you just take a 30 seconds diagnostic quiz. And within a few clicks, you tell them about your skin, your goals, and a team of their dermatologists will design a regimen just for you. And then it's shipped directly to your door. It's that simple. It's pretty great. And for me, I've, I've, I've loved it. And I'm using that, that cream for the dark circles. That's my favorite so far. So if you're able to go ahead and, uh, and check it out, go to, you can start with a complete trial set. It's a five, pe- a five piece set is valued at 50 bucks. And they have like two everyday face wash, face cream, night cream, eye cream. There's so much. Go to, go to the link in the description. I also, I've been putting in eye cards lately and you'll see, you saw that one that just, um, that just popped up just now. And it just says, try this here. And if you click on it, it'll take you there. And I've been doing that a lot lately. Any of the times we talk about um, the wonderful sponsors on the show. I put the, the links in there and you can click on it. And people ask all the time how they can help with the show. But well, I didn't go, I didn't put anything on the Amazon list. I didn't get anything. I didn't uh, join Patreon. I didn't do this, but help yourself. Get yourself some, uh, some geology, get yourself some uh, um, stuff that's going to help you. And I, when they told me it's, it's for men's facial stuff, I was like, that's going to be perfect for the audience. So let me know what you think. Um, we talked about, Acolyte already, and that was one of the big, more casting that, that kind of came yeah. through. Yep, yep. Um, nothing official. Nothing. I've learned nothing last nothing, week. I guess, yes. I, I, <laughs> I do think the show's going to happen. I think it'll happen. But oh, yeah. re- that's a show, though, again, I would much rather see in the vein of locations. And yeah. I'm not saying don't use the volume, because I think the volume no. is great, but, but use it as a balance. Like, I think, I, I still, when I did my rewatch of Mando 1 and 2, it's so seamless in, for that, for that show. That? When did I do it? Yeah, we're doing a rewatch. Again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll do it again. Okay. It's Mando. Yeah. I told you. I watch that thing all the time. Okay. I don't want to watch Boba again. I haven't watched it again. Yeah. I haven't watched it since Except it came out. But, but you would watch, watch the Mando stuff, though, inside of Boba, wouldn't you? Those two episodes? Luke stuff. Of course I would. Luke's some of the best. We'd have that's to watch that. Of course I would. That episode is still... The volume, you're right. It. Like, yeah. I, I'll say this. Inside the cockpits of ships, that thing is incredible. incredible. Watching yeah. the behind the scenes. And I think... Mando, the set execution does it so well. Obi Wan did not use Mando it. Mando well. has used it the best. Yeah, I think it's also because Favreau knows it really. well. I think they were Mando the, has, yeah. Mando has used it the best. Um, Obi Wan was the most noticeable. It's like for any sure. special effects tool. Yeah. If you got the people working with it, know it the best, and have worked with it. But also to be it, fair to everybody involved too, yeah. a lot of the times that they revolved, they 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 relied on it was during the pandemic too. So you're right. That, you're that, right. That, that right. was another reason yep. too. So there you whole, go. What I hope is that it's a balance in between that they don't rely on it. Right. They relied on it because they had to at one point in necessity, which I understand. But now that they can move stuff around, because the thing is with Mandalorian still, even I though the, the volume is great, but even though because I gotta well, I gotta watch you though, because sometimes you jump right into that. <laughs> microphone and you not stop talking but um what you will not interrupt yes you will not but i will say that i don't think a lot of people can argue with this robert rodriguez's best episode of anything that he did star wars was that mandalorian episode with boba fett when they're on location on location and, told and what oh, I, I still with baby grogu on and the people, rock yes and people so were good. still like ah it looked like a fan film yeah in the best sense of the word, because that's what the original Star Wars yeah. was yeah, looked I, like. I, I, Star, a couple of guys in criticism. pink short shorts I in the really desert. Don't. Original Star Wars was Flash Gordon fan film. It was it's awesome. Samurai fan film. It was a lot of different. That's why that, that episode is fantastic. It's great, and I love watching it again. But um, all right, so much that we can talk about, but we actually, we, we, we talk pretty deep into Andor uh, episodes one, two, and three. We will be doing the spoiler-heavy episodes the way we did in the past, because for at least for next week, I'm going to be putting up my reaction to episode four, and then this will serve as the spoiler episode for that day. And then once we get into episode five and everything too, ones that I haven't seen, it'll be a, an immediate reaction at night. Then I'll do the spoiler heavy review. Then I'll put up the reaction to the actual episode, and then we'll have our spoiler discussion. So again, a lot of Andor coverage for sure. And I'm hoping a lot of people are, are enjoying it. 
let's get you. What happened? Where'd you go? What'd right. you do? What? There you are. Let's get back to um to what talking to the audience though okay. about what they thought of the actual show. I want to get the comments inside. I want to hear their thoughts. I want to be able to respond to them and talk to them. And if you liked it, tell me why. If you didn't like it, let's have a respectful conversation. I think that it has been proven in these comments section that for, for the most part, that people can talk um, cordially with each other and have conversations and not scream and yell at each other. That's what I've been proud of with this community. So thank you guys for that. And thank you once again. Thanks to Mike. Thanks to Steph for joining us here on... Um, Sith Council. We'll see you guys next week. We'll be back again. If you want to check out the Amazon list, we still have a few things left on there. You can check it out. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere that podcasts are found, please check it out. Thank you again to Gentle Giant, to our buddy Fernando over at Disneyland, and we'll see you on the flip side, everybody. Peace. I can feel your anger. It gives you focus. Makes you stronger.